Oh my God, I may not have been recording. Crap. Have it. Good morning. Welcome back to my office, which looks pretty organized if you ask me until uh, This is the reality people the actual truth. It's freaking December like two days before Christmas and this is still my life Don't judge me judge your mother. Anyway today's task Which I have accepted is to get all my shoes out of this blue duffel and that black suitcase and get all my shoes right up there do you see that space up there that's where my shoes are gonna go I'm tired already <laughs> just thinking about all the work but I should be done in an hour I'm giving myself an hour it's currently um, 6 35 I'm an early bird if you all don't know I also don't really sleep much so it's very flu <laughs> that's French but um, I'm gonna go and try and get this done in an hour and then try and organize the rest of this mess because it's not cute and I'm trying to actually make use of this space that is beautiful but I, I just have to overcome the mess that is my floor right now so let's get to it <laughs> sweaty mess because I literally have been trying to get my shoes together as I told you and it's been <laughs> a bit of a nightmare um I have shoes that have been in bags literally for over a year I understand there was nowhere else to put them I couldn't like have them breathe there was no room now I have the room my god I'm profusely sweating um and so much damage has happened to like my leather shoes because I'm in Kinshasa like now the weather's it's 79 it's raining which means it's humidity on a hundred and so I want to show you guys like where I'm at in terms of my process but it's so sad to see that like some really cute like thigh high boots knee high boots just got ruined because they were leather and time and heat and humidity did not do them well. So let me actually just show you an example of what I'm talking about. So like this pair was like one of my favorite booties, but just look at how it's been ruined and hopefully this can focus on the right thing. But look at that. The leather has been eaten away completely by the humidity. And I'm glad I don't have a lot of shoes that went through the damage, but it's enough for me to be heartbroken about it. I mean, it's not fun having shoes for years and years that have lasted years and years and then you make a move and then they're ruined. So that has me sad, I won't lie. Um, but it's just a couple of pairs. It's not like a total loss or anything like that. So we're at least okay with my sneakers. Um, my heels most of my heels have survived um, so that's a good thing and then I don't know if you guys can hear the rain it's a wonderful rainy day like I said but I'm very sad because some of my favorite pairs of shoes have been ruined and there's nothing I can really do about it yeah well let's get to it Alexa Play. Playing Bluetooth.
So right now, <laughs> forgive my sweaty demeanor. And yeah, I am fully drenched. But I am done. I am officially done. I had two, I had a duffel bag, a suitcase, and a box full of shoes. So all three of those completely empty. I've separated the shoes by what needs to be washed, what needs to be repaired, um, and then what needs to be put away. And then, oh, and also what's been damaged. Um, and then I'm just gonna put everything up there as much as I can fit. I don't know that everything is gonna fit, but up there I think right now I'm gonna have like my booties. Okay, um, I'm gonna put my booties up there and I'm also gonna put my sneakers. And then whatever is left, I think I'm gonna steal my little sister's shelf and bring it in here and then I'll organize my heels in the shelf because I don't know that everything is gonna fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up there all my sneakers. I'm gonna put um, my booties, my sneakers, and then if any heels can fit, I'm gonna throw them in there. I highly doubt it um, just because of how many sneakers I have. H how did I become this sneakerhead? I really don't understand. I mean, I know I love Converse's and I have a bunch of them. Um, but I don't understand how in like a year I have a ton of Nikes and I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I know I purchased, I, I understand that, but I didn't know it was this much. I'm going to tell you that. So let me just get to it so that I can at least clear my floor, throw away this one box and I can put both of those luggages outside of this room and I'll have a little more breathing space. It's happening. Yes. All right, let's go. So right now I am not taking a break, but I am switching gears. I think I did all I can for the shoes. And so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to organize my backups into my basket. So this is just a regular basket. I actually bought this in Tanzania. I don't think you guys can see this. Ah! But I have. This is so tricky to show. I have like. Ah, this is like my backup box. Oh my god, I'm so afraid of like dropping things. So it has backups of my favorite things. So for example, my Palmer's cocoa butter. Um, this is gonna be my new body lotion. I'm currently using, uh, I'm a Nivea girl, period. Um, and I love Nivea, but I saw folks suggesting that this cocoa butter formula was just as good, if not better. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I also have uh, this L'Occitane uh, hand cream. Here we go. There we go. And the good thing is, these L'Occitane hand creams are so fragrant. Um, let me see which one is actually the one I'm gonna start off with. But, oh my God, so good, so, so good. Let's see. Yeah, this is not as fragrant. It's really strange, I thought this was gonna be fragrant. So this purple one is, Crème ultra léger, uh, violet scent. Okay, and then this one, 
and my peau sèche. I'm not seeing what flavor this is. It says Santer Reinvigorant, but yeah, invigorating scent, but I'm not quite sure what that smells like. I also have backups of my foundation. So this is the 355 Maybelline Fit Me. Um, and I really like that a lot of beauty companies are going green by kind of creating these um, sachets instead of creating more plastic. Although I feel like this is more of plastic, but I bet you it's like recyclable or something like that. Anyway, I have that. And then I have some of my LA Girl concealers and then I have backups of my niacinamide and vitamin C those have been like really really good for my skin I use the vitamin C during the day and I use the niacinamide at night and then Let's see what else I got in here. Yeah, I gotta put this away. Clean skin. It is by Brave Soldier. It is such a good cleanser. They say it's for face and body. I usually just use it on my face. And so what I'll usually do is I have another cleanser. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my reel over on Instagram where I show what my um, what do you call it? My hyperpigmentation uh, skin routine is, and this along with another cleanser, so I double cleanse, um, are the ones that I use. I'll make sure to leave the second cleanser down below, but these are my favorite. So I have a couple of them as backup so that I don't run out, because like I said, this is like one of my holy grail cleanses, very gentle. It's also a foaming cleanser, but super, super lightweight on the skin. And then I have, my favorite hyaluronic acid, this baby, oh my god, so good, okay, period, like I am putting you guys on and I hope it's helpful when I show you what I use um, for my skin because guys, I think if I can find it, I'll look for it and maybe I'll stick it in there, but like honestly my skin has gone like leaps and freaking bounds like in terms of where it used to be and where it is now. And then I have backups for my toner. So that's the toner that I use. Um, and then, oh my God, guys, I haven't even opened this. So let's do that together. That's on my Vicky Zulu song that I'm obsessed with right now. So this, is a clay mask, a peel off mask, and a wash off mask. It's got three of them in here. And honestly, I think that was influenced. It's if it's not like TikTok, maybe it's just Instagram. Um, but I saw this um, on somebody's page, and they used it. And I love a good mask. I'm one of those people that mask at least two, three times in the week. Maybe that's a lot, I lie. Maybe twice a week. And this is gonna be great because it has three different masks. Like I said, there's a clay, a peel off, and a wash off mask. And they're supposed to brighten, clarify, and hydrate. Um, they suggest 15 minutes facial therapy for smooth, radiant, glowing skin. And it's by Anna, Ru Anna Arui. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm gonna make sure that I link. I leave all these links below. Um, but it's three of them, and I'm so excited. How do you get this open? I don't even know. Oh, never mind. It wasn't as complicated as I thought. <laughs> oh, here we go. So let me actually just spin these around for you so you can see. That's what they look like. I'm gonna let you know how it goes once I give them a try. All right, so these are just some of my backups that I need to put into my basket. 
and then once I get everything into my basket I'm gonna take it up and then it'll be stored up there until I run out of the ones that I currently have and then like I said I'll just come back into my basket I will show you some of the other items that I'm gonna put in there I think the basket is pretty big so I'm going to try and maximize getting a lot more stuff into it so I'll show you the rest of the stuff as I go all right so in addition to um, the items I just showed you there are a couple more items that I will be storing as backup and here is these are my cotton pads they're premium cotton rounds um, and I really I'm a big fan of these guys because this is what I use for my toner I don't really like put toner on my hands and like pat in like I've seen some people do with some of the products I usually use the cotton rounds so I like go through a lot of them because I tone at least twice a day so um, these are the cotton pads that I have and I have quite a few because I didn't want to run out I actually grabbed these off of Amazon so I'm gonna make sure that again like with everything I'm gonna link it below additionally I have always pads these are the pads that I use I'm a big fan of always I think I this is where I started from like when I had my very first period until now and so I usually buy these pads in bulk because I won't run out and being in Kinshasa these are like a little bit of a premium product so they cost more than they do cost online on Amazon so I did buy a bunch of these to stock up on so I have a lot of these for backup because we can't run out of this guys and then I also have my emergency I usually take one a day one pack of these vitamin C they have a thousand milligrams of vitamin C for daily immune support um, and I usually take one of these religiously it's part of my daily routine um, I know usually when I shoot on my Instagram stories and I show you guys like this is the time I'm waking up now I'm meditating now I'm working out I usually take a, um, one packet out and I have this once a day every day okay so these are my last backups and I think I'm really gonna be in a good place to get everything organized my goal with this video is to continue getting myself organized and getting this cloth is organized so I have my NyQuil this is a backup one that I use um, I don't know if I mentioned this already in this video but I was down with a cold for a couple of oh my god maybe a week or two and so the night will save me so much um, and then I have Advil these are backups as well I use the liquid gels I hate pain I don't know anyone who likes pain I'm not a masochist so these babies the moment I have a headache the moment I feel fever the moment I get a back pain and this is my second one so this is my backup like I said um, these are my refills I have my Colgate this is what I use to brush my teeth and I love the optic white because I'm trying to get my pearlies <laughs> okay I want them to stay beautiful and so I have the Colgate optic white advanced um, it says deeply whitens for up to four shades but again these are my backups so I'm excited to be able to maintain that pearly white okay and then I have in here um, Theraflu this I definitely got influenced by online and it is an oral rinse honestly like it helps with healthy gums it helps with bad breath for me this has been a lifesaver these are my backups I'm currently using one um, in my bathroom but these are my backups that I'm gonna try <laughs> put in the basket I haven't found a better product I know some people use Listerine and I use Listerine for a while but Listerine depending on what the one you get like is it's a little like not pick it's a peak I know the word in French and now I don't know it in English 
how where am I bilingual that that can understand um, it feels like prickly in my mouth Listerine does so I'm not a big fan of it but this one oh my god I love this Theraflu it leaves my breath smelling amazing like my tongue feels like it gets a nice wash and in all honesty this is something that like i said i was influenced from instagram and i have never looked back i stopped completely buying listerine because this theraflu um this theraflu this thera breath um helps with anti-gingivitis anti-plaque it's a good mouth rinse and it's 24 hours like it genuinely works all day i don't have any bad breath throughout the day especially when i start my day after having brushed with my Colgate and then I use um, the Thera breath in conjunction with it as a mouth rinse guys don't say I don't put you all on so that's it that's everything that I need as backups and I'm gonna store them away as part of closing out this organize with me um, video so let's get organized Okay guys, so there you have it. I have organized all my extras um, and then I'm gonna just put them away into my closet and honestly, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was fun. I hope it was nice to have in the background if you were doing something. Or I hope it was nice to engage with and to just see how there's always traffic in Kinshasa, y'all. How life is lived on the other side of the world. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm not even sure if I gave a good intro, but my name is Benja, aka The African Cocktail. If you liked this video, please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, make sure you share it with a friend, and don't forget to check out the links in the description box. Today's video has enough things where I can at least link it for you guys to enjoy. So I'll make sure that I do that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>